Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another Atletico Madrid career mode episode. It's episode 2 here. Before we kick off, make sure you follow me on Twitter for the latest updates, uh, videos uploaded, and if you just want a quick chat, or a chat, or just say hello, you know, you're more than welcome to do so. Anyway, today's episode is a little bit shorter than usual, however, it does have two friendly matches. There is only two friendly matches left before we start the season versus Barcelona in the little Spanish-type community shield. Uh, two tied, two two legged final. You know, it's it's kind of odd, but they do that in Spain. So we're in it. We're playing Barcelona. Here's our team lineup for the first friendly of this episode out of the two. We've got some more transfer business as well in between the games to keep you updated with the squad and who we're trying to get and who we're buying. Now, from the first episode, I have had tons and tons of you guys uh, suggesting players and that, and I thank you. I thank every single one of you. The suggestions have been great. Some of the suggestions have been the same as each other, but that don't matter because all the suggestions, um, I am taking them all in. I'm looking at them. Some of the players I might not like or don't want in the squad or simply cannot afford. So don't get offended if I don't buy a player uh, or yeah, a player you want to see in this career mode. You know, don't get offended. So I am looking at them all. There's some really, really good suggestions. I'm looking at some of the youngsters actually, uh, quick wingers and players. As I'm speaking as well, through the highlights of these uh, two games, we just we have just scored thanks to Diego. Uh, Diego Costa with that lovely run, as you can see on the replay here, cuts all the way into the box and lovely cross for the header. And so far, I, you know, I've, it's been tough. It's actually been quite tough. The squad lacks pace, man. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Atletico Madrid are a great squad and they have got some great players. And also. The defenders seem so slow, there's been a lot of mistakes, some mine and some the game, I don't know what is happening but the large, all these friendlies I've made a few mistakes and some of them have been really really horrible. Um, Lazio have already equalised anyway and we're coming up to the 37th minute and they're pressing for another goal. And in fact, oh my god, yep, in fact they have scored, so we're 2-1 down actually in this friendly. And from this friendly, I can tell you Lazio played extremely well, and it was so frustrating. I get I get to the point now where, when I get so frustrated, I, I forget that I'm recording for you guys, and I skip like the replays, and, you know, I don't wait long enough for the half time, just so we can have a little break, like there. But anyway, as you can see, 84th minute, and Lazio are pressing again, and again, it's just... Mistakes like these, I don't know what's happening with my players. They they switch automatically, which I've, turned, I've tuned it so it shouldn't switch so much. And, you know, it was, it was ridiculous. It switched the player as I was holding the sprint button, and then my player just shot away. And as you can see, we are 3-1 down, and we do lose the match 3-1, which is kind of a piss take. But it's so frustrating when, when stuff like this happens. But I'm not with a big club like PSG with a lot of money, so we've got to invest very wisely. Now, as I said, I'm trying to get Raphael and Sandro. They're my main two targets in this episode, and then the next episode we're going to try and get some youngsters in and set up some other scouting networks. Now, as you can see, I have now officially signed Raphael, so the first signing of this episode has been completed. And also, I'm looking to replace Adrian. Now, I know he's got a little bit of pace behind him, but he seems he just doesn't seem to be any good to me. I'm sorry guys, but <laughs> if I can replace him, that would be great. But my first thought before you guys had all these suggestions, because you got to remember I do pre-record these and then edit them all down for you guys. So my first thought was Javier Hernandez. What a what a brilliant striker. Now, he you know, he doesn't play too much at United, especially this season just gone. And as I'm a United fan, you know, <laughs> I have a lot of high praises for him. A player, Mohamed Diame, now for West Ham, he's been very, very good. Another player I'm looking at. And Antonio Griezmann, a winger that could bring a lot of pace and skill to that wing. Well, either side of the wings, actually, because, I mean, Farfan, we've brought Farfan in. We don't really need wingers. We've got Turan, Koke can play on the, the wings. And we've got a couple other sort of half okay ish wingers. So, you know, I've got lots of options and. Also, Sandro here, as you can see, is about to be our player as well. So that's two signings in this episode, which is pretty damn impressive. And they're two good signings from from the Premier League, but that does not matter. Sandro is now officially signed. And 
the bid for Hernandez has been rejected. We're going to up the bid to 13 mil and Adrian. Or Adrian, however you want to pronounce that. But there we go. So Sandro and Rafael are in the squad along with Farfan. So that's our three signings so far. And we're going to move on to the second and final game of this episode. Now, as I said, it is a short one. I'm sort of... I had it planned out that I would have all the friendlies in this episode. But then I realised that... The, the first episode, I didn't actually have enough content on the transfers to last, you know, long enough. It would have been like a six-minute episode. Now, where you, you guys probably would think that's good. You know, I, I then decided to add the friendly in the first one. Here's our team over, team lineup for this game, anyway, guys. But as I was saying, I was then added the first friendly into the last episode, the first episode. So I thought, you know what? I'll just I'll move things around. So we've got the two episodes now. But I catalog, you know, each game and where it, where I score and, and where they score, the opponents and you know, chances, all of that stuff. So you know, it makes it easier if I do the two two friendlies in this episode, like I originally planned, and then go back and we then then I'm you know comfortable and in order. <laughs> it's it's easier for myself, and so you know that's why it's a bit shorter today. But we have had a couple of transfers, and as you see here, Diego with a lovely run and strike and he does score to make it 1-0 now this game I definitely felt a bit of an improvement Sandro has actually got a lot of pace behind him very strong and for that for that midfield spot you do need sort of like a Yaya Torre figure someone that's got a lot of strength a lot of pace someone that can do a lot of work and Sandro has definitely done that in this game so I'm really pleased with that sign and Raphael had a good game as well he got a few good dribbles and runs he also I think got a cross and assist in this game which sort of hints that there is some more goals and as you see here some more poor defending and this time it's two players running into each other absolute piss take this game just goes beyond my capabilities of, of being able to keep my anger and I cannot do it I get moan at all the time for shouting it's so so bad I mean <laughs> if well, my next wager match, you know, if I start losing badly, you'll hear my hear my rages. So they're probably absolutely hilarious. But I try not to do it on this career. Mode. I try to be nice and formal. Get you know, get everyone interested. I mean, yeah, there's some moments where I try my best to make you guys laugh. But I, you know, as long as you guys are enjoying these episodes, that's just incredible, and that's what I'm looking for for people to enjoy the videos. Anyway, Arda Turan here, and what a finish that was! Two one to us now on the 48th minute right, in, right at the beginning of the second half which is kind of brilliant I suppose you know that's the best time to score in the second half you know you kick off you move up the pitch and go and score that's absolutely awesome a lovely ball scoop turn and a lovely dinked finesse shot now we do have some bad news and I know I actually end up with a few injuries not in this game but through the next this episode and the next episode now David Villa is out injured and it looks like a serious one so he could be out for some time I know he's getting on and he's getting a bit old but it's kind of a piss take it's like his first game he's had a lot of impact in and then he goes and gets injured so we've had to sub David Villa off and use our last substitute as you can see here Rafael with the cross which actually sets up Christian Rodriguez for the third goal for us on the night so we actually are 3-1 up but that is pretty much all we've got time for today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. We've had a bit of transfers. We've had two friendlies. We're now preparing and ready for the next episode where we're playing Barcelona, the home and away leg, or away and home leg, depending on how you want to put it. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you want to keep seeing some awesome FIFA 14 content. And thank you guys for all the suggestions on transfers. Keep it up, and I'll see you next episode.